Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. Today I'm going to show you the installation of VMware Mirage. First, make sure user access control is disabled. Okay. Then the management server MSC package needs to be installed. Point to my SQL server, which is named SQL. I'm installing it as a domain administrator, so I'm, I'm a member of the group, um, administrator group on the domain. So what's interesting is that the installer actually creates the database on the SQL server by itself. There's no need to create the database before the installation. The installer does it for you with all the necessary rights. As an administrator you have the rights to be the modification and you are the owner of the database as well. Let's have a look to our SQL server. Okay, refresh this. You see Mirage DB. It was created by the installer. Now we can continue to install the Management console is just the snap in. Okay, and uh, we just start the management console and we add the Mirage management server to the console. As I'm installing all the components on the same VM, I'm using the address, IP address of the same VM where I'm installing the components. It takes a little while. For now we're gonna skip the license key. Okay, the next step is to install the Mirage server. Make sure you have enough space for caching. In my situation I had to adjust the size of the local cache. Here again, point to the SQL server. And I created a, the local cache area. I check the button, the box. And that's about it. You at the end of the installation, you are about to you be prompt to restart the server, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.